Um, hi, uh, I'm Matt Snooker, and I'm a graphic designer, performance artist, and the game producer. I will be talking about so, uh, dance and social isolation. So these past six months, I've been really fascinated about this uh, social phenomenon in Japan, um, which my family has been entangled in the past 10 years. And this social phenomenon is called the Hikomori phenomenon. So the hikomori are socially withdrawn people who shut themselves in for a duration of, uh, which can last up to six months to uh, two, two, two decades, um, depending on the individual. These socially withdrawn people make up 1% of Japan's uh, population, and we're talking about more than a million people. And don't get me wrong, there are socially withdrawn people everywhere in the world, but it seems to be the biggest problem in Japan. The problems which are linked for people becoming isolated are uh, linked to adolescent behaviours such as skipping school, domestic violence, thoughts of suicide, fear of others, anxiety, obsessive actions and so on. Um, many people, Higuain people have also experienced of being bullied and being pressured by their families and their societies um, and also they sometimes have psychological problems. I could talk about this, uh, the Higuain problem for hours where we have like a twelfth of that an hour so we'll move on. <laughs> um, so dance is recently known to be prescribed to people who are feeling lonely or live in a state of isolation. And an example is dance is prescribed to elderly people who um, are living in a state of isolation, um, like living on their own, who may also be suffering from anxiety and depression and may also be tackling health problems. By prescribing dance to these people, it can create many new opportunities such as connecting with people and community, their bodies and their minds. Um, and in Japan, therapists uh, who specialise in the heat comedy problem in, uh, have not yet thought about prescribing dance as a form of therapy. Therapists do not immediately think about the best ways to help these people because they are too disconnected from the world outside their rooms. Because the hikikomori live in a state of isolation for such a prolonged length of time, without stepping outside their rooms only to go to the bathroom or having a shower, um, they start to create their own world. They're working hours that later and later um, eventually becoming reversed from everyone else's. Because their days become a reverse day and night, they start to communicate with their families less and less and lose contact with their friends and co-workers. When the Hikoran people create their own world of reverse days and nights, entertaining themselves with comic books and video games, and having almost no connection with their family and friends and the outside world, it becomes extremely difficult for them to it, it's extremely difficult to drag them outside of the fake reality they have created for them, for themselves. So um, the only way to get them out of the state they're in is to reconnect the communication with their family and then eventually to the society. It's important to connect the family to the society, which is simple, but connecting the individual to the family and the individual to the society can take a very long time. So as you can see here, there's um, a diagram. So the top one is called the heat comedy uh, system and then the bottom one is called the uh, healthy system. So in the top one, you can see that all the circles are disconnected. So the very inside, the middle circle it represents the individual, and the middle one represents the family, and the outer represents the society. And so this diagram shows that you can only the individual can only connect to society through their family. So once um, the individual is connected to the family and the society, the individual and the family and the therapist can start to think about how to, uh, the best way to help them return to society. A survey was conducted by Saito Tomaki, a Japanese psychologist who specializes in uh, puberty and adolescence, uh, conducted a survey asking doctors what sorts of activities they thought would be meaningful to a patient to return to society. Um, so the responses were as follows, psychiatric daycare facilities, 56%, 
a part-time job 34%, an acquaintance or relative's workplace 33%, an organisation for people with similar hobbies 25%, a facility for people to hang out 22%, um, and a workplace for people with psychiatric disorders 22%. <coughs> uh, so all of these reasons are valid and valuable and um, trying to help the individual return to society will really depend on the individual. Um, but in my opinion, I think dance should be, dance therapy should be up there. It might come under an organization with people with similar hobbies, but because dance therapy is a form of physical therapy that works, um, Japanese therapists should consider dance as another serious activity to help these people return to society. This is because dance is inspiration, that uh, is inspiring. It connects people to the community, their minds, their bodies, and it also allows them to get a better understanding of themselves. So what I say is, yeah, stop dance.